Hello and good morning to everyone. As the president of the International Commission on Irrigation and Drainage, ICID, I would like to thank the organizers and uh, ICID Vice President and Deputy Secretary General of CN, CID, Professor Dr. Dean Colon, for inviting me to address the Water Resources Forum for the first China Arab State Expo. Let me say a few words first about ICID and second about cooperation with China. ICID has been established in 1950 and was at the forefront of the Green Revolution after World War II. The, the commission is a leading scientific, technical, and professional not-for-profit international organization working in the field of irrigation, drainage, and flood management to promote and achieve sustainable agricultural water management. As a knowledge sharing platform, ICID is dedicated towards improving the status of agricultural water management practices, including rain-fed agriculture, supplementary irrigation, deficit irrigation, and full irrigation. ICID carries its activities through its permanent committees, working groups, and task forces. Although the ICID has been established primarily for irrigation and drainage, it has moved with time and became more dynamic. It takes on board pressing issues when they arise, such as climate change and extreme events of flood and drought, non conventional water resources, water governance, water food and energy nexus, water and food security, biofuel, and the environmental impact of irrigation, drainage, and more. ICID is an organization with a vision for the future. ICID moves with time and ahead of time. It has developed a vision 2030, water secure world, free of poverty and hunger through sustainable rural development, and produced a plan on how to implement this vision through its activities. ICID has established the global young professional groups, over 5,000 young professionals to be trained and mentored by ICID seniors. By 2050, world population will be 9 billion, and we need to double food production while facing 30% irrigated lands are already degraded. Water use is expected to increase by 50%, increase in global energy by energy demand by 30 to 40%. And by 2030, a 40% overall gap between global water supply and demand is expected. Climate change projected to increase vulnerability of agricultural sector in most of the developing countries. These are the, ch the challenges that we are all facing, including us in ICID. ICID has a good number of permanent committees, working groups, and task forces to carry out various activities to meet those challenges. Modernization and revitalization of irrigation scheme, sustainable on-farm irrigation system development, water saving in agriculture, role of irrigation in rural development, environmental impacts of, of irrigation drainage, global climate change and agricultural water management, use of non-conventional water resources for irrigation, sustainable agricultural drainage, managing water scarcity under conflicting demands, and institutional aspects of irrigation, capacity development, regional issues of irrigation, irrigated agriculture, sustainable development of tidal areas, comprehensive approaches to flood management, biofuel and food, history of irrigation, drainage and flood control, and finally, water, food, energy nexus. ICID should look back with pride and content of its achievements over 72 years of its existence. ICID presently has over 100 member countries and represents 90% of irrigated area of the world. It covers 18 wide areas of technical activities ranging from irrigation and drainage to climate change and water, food, energy nexus. For each activity, there is a working group to plan and to deliver on the activities. ICID established a wording system to acknowledge the individual achievements. ICID established inter internationally well-known peer-reviewed journal, Irrigation and Drainage was widely as a publisher in USA. ICID also established regional groups for the world continents. ICID also established an excellent dissemination knowledge system online and on, as a web-based. The cooperation between ICID and the next year, Hawaii, Autonomous Region and China can be summarized in the following statements. During his ICID 
uh, uh, during his ICID presidency, uh, President Honoraire, Dr. Gauzani, inaugurated the first World Water Forum in September 2013 at Mardi in Turkey. That was attended by over 700 participants from all over the world. In 2016, the Vice President Honoraire, Mohammed Wahba from Egypt, visited the region and attended the first international water saving exhibition of the China Arab States Expo on behalf of ICID. His visit enhanced and strengthened the cooperation between ICID, Arab States and China. The autonomous region has one of the China largest irrigation schemes. This 2000 year old scheme is irrigating 552,000 hectares of farmland with water diverted from Yellow River. It has introduced prosperity to this, re to this region despite the harsh arid climatic conditions. Moreover, in 2017, the scheme was recognized by the ICID as the World Heritage Irrigation Structure, and the local government later launched a new regulation for the heritage protection, the first of its kind in China. In 2018 and 19, China Ministry of Water Resources sponsored training for Asian young professionals and a workshop on innovations of irrigation technology that has been co-hosted by ICID and CNCID in Beijing 2018, and that was followed by another one in South Korea in 2019. In 2019, ICID supported China an Institute of Water Resources and Hydropower Research in hosting the Belt and Road Forum on Irrigation and Drainage Development and Science and Technology Innovation, as well as hosting the Forum on WHIS Wisdom Serving Modern Irrigation Schemes. In 2021, the Minister of Water Resources in China is sponsoring the training program for participants from Africa region on micro irrigation system to mitigate climate change impacts, which will be co-hosted by Morocco National Committee of, I of ICID, ANAFIDE, ICID, and CNCID on November 19 to 23 in Marrakesh, Morocco this year. In 2023, the ICID and the IWHR and CNCID will jointly host the fourth World Irrigation Forum in Beijing, China. As you see, there are a lot of benefits uh, from everyone to join ICID, and I hope you will join ICID if you haven't done so. I hope we will meet up soon in one of the ICID future events and best wishes to you all and best of luck with your professional and personal life. And I wish you a very successful meeting and thank you and goodbye.